Billy Ron steelheadbeads.com. In this video, we'll be creating Alvin via the bead. Now, Alvin are trout, steelhead, and salmon when they first hatch. They're attached to the yolk of the egg for about 48 days as a food source. They go on to forage in the beds where they were spawned and find refuge there. Alvin, particularly, aren't my favorite things to fish. I always try to replicate the spawn, but they do have their time and place. For instance, after the spawn, when Alvin are taking precedence all over, they're everywhere, bobbing up and out of the beds. Um, it's a great time to fish them tandem with the bead trailing. Once water levels bump down, Alvin must bump out of their beds into the deeper lanes where trout, stilt, and salmon find passage during their migration to the spawn. When these low water levels prevail, I highly suggest throwing some Alvin patterns trailing a bead. Now it's always important, it's most important to always trail your bead with the Alvin behind the Alvin. That way the added weight of the Alvin doesn't affect the natural sway of that individual bead trailing it. All right, well, let's go ahead and get this Alvin created today. There's many forms that you could create. I mean, you've got your basic presentation of Alvin. The, the patterns are endless. Freshwater sculpin, carrying an egg. You've got another variety here where you've got a tandem bead leader on your first bead, your first hook. We've got that streamer replicating that Alvin via the egg with the hook trailer behind it with it carrying a fresh egg variation with the smaller Alvin just up above with a little bit of the tuff of the banding remaining on the exterior so it looks like it might be carrying a little bit of an egg or egg pattern but just a very rudimentary presentation here um, just like the jig is. The jig is, uh, if you didn't know, for years you've been fishing the Alvin if you are a jig fisherman. Um, so it's nothing new to you, it's just uh, maybe might have been something that was overlooked. Well let's go on and continue to create this Alvin. You know, as I said before, there's many ways to do um, create them. You could add a lot of patterns to them. This one has eye pattern added to it. Okay, well that's going to be the abdomen of the Al Alvin to, to make the tail. We're going to use a little bit of marabou feather. And a little bit of flash material. Very minimal amount of each. We're going to go and lap them together. Now that I've got them together, grip in my hand, I'm going to take the feathers and snip some of that, the quill of the feathers away up top, some of that excess flashing so it won't interfere with our threading of this material through the bead here in a moment if it's too bulky up top it won't pull through okay we've got our material ready to be pulled through now we need to get our banding simply going to stretch our banding and cut it in half I'm going to take a, cut a quarter of it off I'm going to stretch it again now we're going to put it up against the material that we're going to pull through the alvin create the tail. At the same time we're going to thread the bead with the kingpin. Now that the bead has a kingpin running through the, the interior, we're going to thread the kingpin with the material that we're going to create the tail with. Then we're going to slide the bead up to the material and banding and we're going to stretch the banding back I'm going to pull the marabou and flash into the interior of the bead. Now, I'm going to snip the excess banding away from the alvin and the tail that was created with our clips. Making sure not to cut our leader. I'm going to leave it 
leave a little bit of that banding in there for this presentation typically it's a lot easier i have this this rigging stretched tight just so you could see this a little better in this video but now that we have the banding snipped off the tail we're going to go and snip off the kingpin away from the snout of the alvin with the clips making sure not to cut the leader in the process or the kingpin another step that if we weren't pinned here to this string it'd be much easier to cut we're just going to go and take our time cutting slowly okay just about there perfect okay bummer Right, as you can see, we've created an alvin here. We're going to go ahead and cut off the excess feather and flashing once we snug it back and see how far that banding will go back into the interior of the bead. I'm going to snip off just a little bit of this excess feather and flashing from the front of that alvin. Well, there you have it. Today we have created a real basic Alvin presentation replicating the trout stone and salmon when they first hatch and they're attached to yolk, yolk sac as a food source. Now, when you fish these Alvin with the tandem leader with a bead trailer, you always want to cast in front and over the fish so that when your presentation lands in the water, in the slack water, you could allow it time to drop and then you could pull it back towards you to stretch out the leader so the two lanes are covered with the tandem assembly. If you don't get out in front of the fish and on the other side of them to stretch out in front of them prior to getting to them, you will drift over the top of them and you'll miss the fish. You want to definitely make sure that you're in front of the fish prior to going through them a good few feet so your, your beads and your alvin can get to the bottom. Then you could transition through them to the two lanes and then eventually one when your presentation does stagger out finally behind your weight at the tail out of the sleeve that you're fishing. With well, that being said, I hope this helps your success on the water. Catch you in the next video.